Okay, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you out there that pushes world the truth and sincerity. This is going to be a great millstone to the point. And without further ado, I'm going to get into these scriptures. This is um, Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him. Now, who stole the land of America? Who stole men off the shores of Africa? And brought them on, and brought them over to the to the Isles of America through this the um um Atlantic um you know the um the Atlantic slave trade and sold them on auction blocks on the stock market as calamity man was not that Esau the so called white man who was it that stole the land this land that they call America from the Native Americans and the Reubenites, man. Was not it the, the so-called white man, Esau, according to the Bible? So Esau is a thief. The so-called white man is a fucking thief, man. Excuse my language, man. But I'm coming to you straight, man. Esau, the so-called white man, is nothing but a fucking thief, man. So this is sec um this is um Ezekiel I'm saying I'm stuck here. Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. We'll read it again. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, did not Esau still did not Esau go over to the shores of Africa and stole a bunch of Negroes and brought them over to the shores of, of America and sold them on auction blocks? Did not Esau, the so-called white man, come over here and steal Native Americans and brought them back over to Spain? As slaves? So the so-called white man got a lot to pay for, man. Esau being the so-called white man, you got a lot to pay for, you red bastard. You're going to pay for all the atrocities you have committed, man. It says... Or if, or if he be found in his hand, we still in the land of America. We have not been freed. We, pursuant to Baruch, the third chapter, the eighth verse, we are yet this day in our captivity. So we have not been released from the clutches of Esau, the so-called white man. We still in slavery. But now we are corporate slaves. Social security numbers, birth certificates, and license and driver's license, man. So we are corporate slaves. So we still in the hands of Esau. So it says, or if he be found in his hand, and we still dwelling in the in the land of America, man. In the land of our captivity, serving slavery under the hands of Esau, the so-called white man. So we are found in his hand. Esau was a common thief. Esau, the so-called white man, is a common thief, man. It says, he shall, he shall be surely put to death, man. So look forward to death and destruction. That's going to come upon you, you goddamn red eating my bastard. And we have a lot of UFO sightings, so-called UFO sightings, that Esau called them UFOs. He have another terminology. He called them unidentified flying, unidentified um, aerial phenomenals, man. UAP, unidentified aerial phenomenon. That's a new terminology that Esau have given them UFOs, man. But they are chariots of the Most High. And them chariots are going to enter the house of the thief. Who's the thief, man? Esau is the thief, man. I just read in, in, I'm saying in Exodus chapter 21, verse 16, he that still it for man. And he be found in his hand, he should surely be put to death. And that's exactly what's going to happen to Esau, so-called white man. This is Zechariah chapter 5, verse, um, I'm get to the point. Verse 3. Then he said unto me, this is the curse that go forth. I'm going to go up to the top. I got to read to the top. 
Zechariah chapter 4, 5, verse 1. Then said he unto him, then, then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And that's exactly what these pilots, these airplane pilots be seeing. But they are commanded not to report on what they see. But these things are being seen throughout the four corners of the earth. It says, And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof is ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stilleth shall be cut cut off as on this side. Now did not Esau steal this land from the Native Americans? Did not Esau the so-called white man steal Judah Benjamin leave out off the shores of Africa and brought him over here as slaves? So the so-called white man is a common thief, man. And I brought it out in um Exodus, the 21st chapter, the 16th verse. He that still a man, he be caught in his hand, shall surely be, shall surely be put to death. So them chariots is that curse that's gonna go forth. I'm gonna read it again. Zechariah chapter five verse three. Then he, then said he unto me, This is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth, for every one that stealeth shall be cut off, as on this side, according to it. And Esau is a common thief, man. He's a, ma he's a major thief. And yet this day, Esau, the so-called white man, is going forth at the four corners of the earth, stealing resources of other nations and doing what he have to do. Why? Because he's the goddamn devil, man. So that's what he's doing, man. He's doing what he's supposed to do, being the devil. Stealing, conquering, pillaging, spoiling. That's what Esau, the so-called white man, does, man. It says, it says, back in Zechariah chapter 5, verse 3, Then said he unto me, This is the curse, them chariots, that go forth over the face of the whole earth, for every one that stealeth shall be cut off, as on this side according to it, and every one that sweareth shall be cut off, as on this side according to it, man. So bottom line, Esau being the so-called white man is a common thief, man. And you're going to pay for all the atrocities that you have committed, man. You have stole men and you have sold men. You have stole lands, pillaged lands, man. And you're going to pay for it, man. You're going to pay, you goddamn red Hebrew Edomite bastard. You're going to pay, man. And that's, that's that. And there's nothing you could do about it, man. Death and destruction by the way of thermonuclear destruction and by the way of concentrated fire from them chariots is going to come upon you. And with that, I hope you all came out there was edified. This is a great millstone to the point. And with that, Shalom.